In this video, we're going to spend some time talking about how to add some styling to the pages that we've been creating. We've spent a little bit of time with Bootstrap and done things like formatted our um, navigation bar. <clears throat> but what I want to do is start doing some things with uh, formatting of the uh, of the different forms and, and the links and buttons and things like that that we've been using as well as tables. So in this first go around um, I'm going to spend some time just with uh, with bootstrap buttons and one of the things that we can do is we can take links like we have here and we can turn them into buttons um, and then there's also sort of the standard stock button that um, comes with uh, with HTML and um, and so what we want to do is change the styling of those buttons into something that's more uh, that uses something more like the bootstrap style. Now <clears throat> if you go to the bootstrap documentation and under this buttons um, you'll see there the uh, the different kinds of buttons that, uh, that you can have and um, you also see that um, there is a, an example for each one of the, the different button types that's available in HTML. And if we add a little bit of styling using the class tag, um, then it will change the look and feel of those, those links and those buttons to something that's more uniform, uh, like we see here. So we're going to do a similar kind of thing with um, our applications and uh, and do this in Rails. And so I just wanted to show real quickly how to do this um, here in Rails. Um, so we'll play around with that a little bit and um, we'll see how um, how that's to look uh, in our application. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to do this. Um, so I've, I've logged in here to this uh, this application. I'm just going to style these links that we have in uh, in our app. And here is the source code for those um, for those four links here. And so I just need to add in um, uh, a class declaration for these buttons. And so let me do that. So let's take a look what we need here. So I'm I've got a link. These are links in. Uh, in Rails, and so there's a link to this is the this is the the text for the link, and then this is the action, and so essentially what we're going to do here is just add in a class declaration for this, and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to say class button. And this is essentially the same thing that you would put into, <coughs> excuse me, a uh, um, into an HTML tag, um, and using a um, a class uh, class equals declaration here in Rails, um, you use this uh, this format. So this is what I'm going to do. I guess I need. Yeah, I have the. I guess it would look like this. I am putting this into two lines so that it's easier to read. Okay, so um, if you recall that we've already added Bootstrap to our application. Uh, we did this um, several episodes ago. Um, if you go to um, Views Layouts Application, you see at the top the tags that we need for um, the JavaScript part of Bootstrap as well as the link. Um, so we've done that, did that quite some time ago. Um, there's also another thing that has to go there at the bottom for, for JavaScript. So we did that um, some time ago. So let's just go back then and look at what happens to our application after I've added that. Let me just refresh the page. Oops, did the wrong thing here. Refresh. So there is our there is our button. <clears throat> now there are a number of different styles of buttons that we could use. Um, this is uh, this is just sort of the default version. So let's take a look at some of the other ones that we could use. 
we've got options here for, for changing the different colors. So I'm going to do this for, for all of those. Um, so the next one I'm going to do is button primary. We'll do that for the second one. So let's do that here. So it's class button, button primary. Let's save that. Refresh our page. There's that. It's kind of ugly. I mean, I, and I probably should have some kind of spacing here for them. And actually, I'm going to put them all in one line, so I'm going to get rid of my break. So let's see what's there. Okay, so like my buttons. You'll notice here that uh, the link is um, uh, the link is shaded, and it's because of the way that uh, I've got my HTML set up right now for visited links. And if I wanted to change it, I could do some more CSS for that. But I'm going to leave that for now. It's not the main focus of this uh, uh, this exercise. I'm going to add for honors and awards. I'm going to change this to button warning. Actually, we'll do a button info. And we'll make the last one button warning. So those are four different types of buttons I could use. Um, I do want to show one other thing here. You, we can actually change the size of the buttons, so large buttons, small buttons, extra small buttons. Um, and so here are the, um, the classes for those. So I'm going to change these to, I'm going to have one of each of the size. So large, small, and extra small. So button large. We'll have the regular there and small and button extra small. I think I have the right things here. Yeah, SM and XS. Let's refresh that. So this is large, this is default size, small and extra small. So anyway, that's how to create the different uh, or style the buttons with um, the different uh, different sizes and, and different uh, uh, types. Um, and it, again, it gives us a look and feel or consistency and look and feel on the on the different uh, the different links and different buttons. Um, and it is uh, it, it does give you a I, I, I think a better um, again a better look and feel. It's one of the benefits of using something like Bootstrap. So anyway, that concludes this video.